One of the goals of Kotlin's type system is to eliminate null reference exceptions. So if you were to take this existing name variable and set it equal to null, you would notice that you would not be allowed to do that. And the reason being is this string is known as a non-null reference. If you wanted to create a nullable reference, you would still say string, but you would add the question mark at the end. This would allow the name two to be reassi reassigned to null. The same goes for other types as well, such as age. We might say this is int, and we put 32. However, if we tried to assign age to null, this would not be allowed either. So anytime we would like to make maybe age or any other type, we need to remember to add the question mark at the end, which then would allow us to set the type to null. Even if we had a simple class, such as a person class, we could say var person equals person. That would work fine, but if we were to reassign person to a null, this would not be allowed because we are guaranteeing that this is a non-nullable reference. However, if we did want a null reference, we could say person2. We would need to provide the type here because it's going to be a nullable type. And then we could say equals person foo. Now I could set person2 equal to null.